All right, guys, welcome back to the show. This is Andre with Yup, I Said It. Uh, if this is your first time here, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, and I need you to do that for real. Uh, you know, I know you hear this all the time. Uh, hit the bell notification as well. This will be a great thing for me. I really appreciate that. Uh, this YouTube stuff is free. You can, you can do that. Uh, you get free entertainment. It helps me out. It helps YouTube. They can run ads. Um, also, if you could watch the video all the way to the end or close to the end, just, you know, leave a couple of seconds. That's fine. Uh, if you do that, I really, really would appreciate it. It'll allow me to get my watch time hours. All right. But today we want to talk about the crazy view, the blind. That's what I call them, the blind, because they can't see anything. They really can't. They don't understand what how much a loaf of bread is. They really don't. Um, they just don't get it. All right. Their grocery bill is probably out of this world and it's still not affecting them. Um, but when it comes to lying on Donald Trump, these women get the Grammy. They get the Oscar. They get the most. They get the most highest prestigious award uh, because they they're so good at telling lies uh, when it comes to Donald Trump. But when it comes to Joe Biden, um, they give him a get out of jail free card. Uh, you know, old man pass. You know, they don't really look at him pooping himself. They don't care about any of that. Um, a person with dementia would know that Joe Biden has dementia, but they have. Uh, haven't figured that out yet. All right, um, but we gotta we gotta be easy on the view uh, because we see that they have gone they have gone crazy. All right, I don't know what they're eating. I don't know how much vodka they're drinking. Maybe hanging out with Nancy Pelosi too much, but it just it's very clear that it's just getting really bad. All right, and they they said that Trump is losing his mind. Uh, Trump talks for hours at a time, uh, but these women. Uh, their show is probably, I don't know, hour, half hour or something like that, and they make no sense at all. And the world can see it. The world's watching. They should have taken the advice from Dwayne uh, Rock Johnson uh, when he lost all that support and had to go on Fox News and apologize. Uh, but they don't let up. Uh, you know, they obviously they obviously have a lot of money. Anytime you wear roses in your jacket like that, you, you probably have a lot of money. Uh, that's probably custom made, probably a couple hundred thousand dollars for the jacket. Probably means nothing to Jory, uh, Jory Behar because you know she's filthy rich. But um, you know, like I said, when it comes to lying on Donald Trump, they win the award. We're going to go ahead and react to this video because it's sad. So we're a week away from the first presidential debate of the 2024 election, and the stage has been set. There's no live audience, no opening statements, no notes allowed. Microphones will also be muted while the other candidate is speaking which could stop Trump from going into rants like this. Watch. Is anybody going to watch the debate? Yeah. He's going to be so pumped up. He's going to be pumped up. You know all that stuff that was missing about a month ago from the White House? Yeah. What happened? Who, who left it? Somebody left. What a great opportunity to talk about the cocaine that was left at the White House that got swept under the rug and nobody seems to know where it came from. Gee, I wonder where it came from hmm. i wonder let's see somebody left a laptop in a an office of a gentleman who was supposed to fix the laptop from hell he never picked it up and somebody didn't pick up hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of cocaine i wonder who that could have been it's very interesting if he's not talking about any of this stuff <laughs> when you turn the view on it's just about how great joe biden is you know he's such a great grandfather he's such a great dad dad you know, when your son's on crack, I'm sorry, you're not a good dad, dad. Okay. <laughs> where I come from, look, where I come from, guys, people that are on crack, these are, these people steal everything away from you. They'll take the radio out of your car. They'll break in your house and take your air conditioner. We're talking about crackheads, okay? Uh, have you ever been around crackheads, guys? Because they're the worst ever, okay? <laughs> they have no remorse. They'll... They'll sell anything, okay? They will sell literally anything. You know, I'm so upset that I had to grow up around crackheads, but it's funny when I look back at it because I, I can't believe that we have a president in office that his son's a crackhead, you know, because all the crackheads that I knew, their parents were crazy as hell, <laughs> okay? Because there, there was a reason why <laughs> they were on crack, <laughs> Their parents let them smoke crack in the house. Like, their parents let them do whatever they wanted to do. And that's what it's like growing up around crackheads, okay? <laughs> it's wild, bro. It's wild. You know. I don't know. Actually, I think it was Joe. <laughs> <laughs> so, Joe Biden is the oldest. He would be the oldest living president. And Trump would be the oldest living 
Convicted felon. <laughs> the biggest punchline ever. He's a convicted felon. He's a felon. So was Abraham Lincoln. Okay. <laughs> Oh my goodness. How long are we going to hear convicted felon, convicted felon? Look, in the debates, it probably, that's going to be every other line. Convicted felon. You're the convicted felon. All right. That's, that's, they're going to wear that out. All right. This is so crazy, man. You make something up and then use it against your political opponent like this. Lawfare. <laughs> <laughs> so who, is, who has got more to prove here? I think this. Uh, Joe Biden has more to prove. <laughs> Trump can walk on stage. <laughs> okay. Trump can talk. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Trump can say an entire sentence. Okay. Try that one, Joe. <laughs> I wanted to see you try to talk. Just say a whole sentence. One whole sentence without losing your goddamn mind. <laughs> okay. Joe Biden's got to sit down so he don't poop himself. It's crazy, man. Like, I can't believe we're talking about this. Okay, the father of a crackhead is going to debate one of the greatest presidents on earth, and everybody's uh, on the left saying that Trump is absolutely crazy. He's a terrorist. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the ranch, you know, Joe Biden funded two sides of the war. You know. Stakes are incredibly high for both. I think it's important that it's happening for democracy, seeing them side by side, seeing the contrast and the juxtaposition. Mm -hmm. For Biden, I think he needs to take head on the issue of age and vitality. He needs mm -hmm. to show up. He needs to look forceful and command of facts. Donald Trump needs to appear not crazy. And AKA, you got to do a lot of drugs to be able to get out there and stand up there that long. That's what the signal is. You can, <laughs> there's no way in the world you're going to keep Joe Biden on stage that long unless he's drugged up. He's got to be. It, bro, he his where his medicine wears off in my opinion. Allegedly, his medicine wears off and he loses train of thought. He puts his head down. He just walks off stage, puts his hand out to shake hands with and nobody's there. Yeah, you got to have some medication to fix that. Or some alpha brain or something maybe. He's in the basement training right now. <laughs> Walking on a treadmill, drinking Ensure. I don't know what in the world. This guy is taking Metamucil. I don't know what they're going to do with Joe Biden. Why, do they, why don't these ladies see that? Like, I know that you, you're rooting for your guy and you hate Donald Trump so much that it's blinded you to every good policy known to man. <laughs> it's sick. But what do you see in Joe Biden? Like, I don't get it. They wonder why we're going to vote for Trump. We are really, really seriously wondering who on earth would vote for Joe Biden let alone endorse him, okay? We really, really want to know why this is happening. These are legitimate questions, okay? Uh, you, you can say whatever you want about how Trump's hair looks, how orange he is, uh, but we really want to know why somebody with dementia is, is becoming a champion here. A person with dementia could see that Joe Biden has dementia, okay? <laughs> It's a world in which he could get through 90 minutes, keep it substantive, focus on policy. I've seen him do it. They shouldn't yeah. dismiss that he can. But on the other side, he might shout out a domestic terrorism organization like he did in the last first debate. So she's saying that Trump is going to shout out a domestic terrorist organization. Uh, Joe is a domestic terrorist organization. <laughs> OK, he's funded Iran who gave the money to Hamas. How many times do I tell you this? Uh, they bombed Israel on a holy day, on the Sabbath day when everybody was home resting. OK. Joe Biden did that. Joe, that's why the people are turning on him like that. The protesters for Palestine, that's why they're doing that. All right, in case you've been hiding under a rock, and maybe these women, uh, maybe they've been smoking the rocks you've been trying to hide under. I don't know. But they seem to have forgot that Joe Biden's funded these wars. They shouldn't say anything about terrorists. Somebody should be an advisor for these. Maybe I should advise them, don't talk about terrorism. Don't talk about any damn thing when it comes to Joe Biden. Just shut up. OK, let let him go out there and talk and explain why uh, our economy is destroyed. <laughs> OK, let him let him go out there and uh, tell us why the immigration is out of control. OK, why the, why the illegal migrants or the undocumented uh, people are coming in by the millions. Let him go out there and explain it. Trump should just let him talk, ask questions. That's all Trump needs to do, really. We don't know, but I think a record number of people will tune into this. But also what matters is what ends up on TikTok? What are the viral moments? What are the pull quotes that people see? Yeah. 
People, six in ten Americans didn't want this rematch, but here we are, and they're going to tune in to see who the best option but, is. You know, I think the Republicans uh, and Trump and his minions have done themselves such a disservice. Trump and his minions. So all 100 million people, 200 million people, we're all minions. Huh? Boy, these, these women are toxic, bro. These women are absolutely toxic. Like, I don't understand why they're going against people like this. I really don't. I mean, I understand there's a global agenda and, and people want to be on one side of things. And some people think this is like a game. You know, they think it's like a football game. Your, your best man or your best team wins. Uh, I can guarantee you this, that conservatives, we don't look at this like a game at all. And we're actually very furious. All right. A lot of things we just can't say on certain platforms. We just can't say a lot of things. But we're absolutely furious. OK, I know I'm not the only one. All right. We're tired of this. We're absolutely tired of the lies and we're tired of the pretending. This is not a game. The American people don't look at this like a game. We're absolutely very serious. All right. There's never been a time. Whew, boy, I'm telling you. Service with all of these edited, cut and spliced videos that they're spreading around of Biden seeming lost and decrepit. All of these videos surfacing around of Joe Biden seeming decrepit and lost. He's not seeming that way. He is that way. Okay, don't don't let these women fool you. Yeah, Joe Biden is that way. Okay, this whole system is corrupt. The whole government is corrupt. Okay, Joe Biden just has to be the main puppet that they can control. All the Democrats want is someone in control that they can control. That's all they need is someone who jump when they say jump. Try to walk when they say try to walk. Okay. They, they don't need someone like Donald Trump talking back to him, telling him what he's not going to do. Uh, they don't want that. That's the last thing they want. They want someone who's going to say yes. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. I'll do it. Sure. Someone with extreme white guilt. Okay. You got to have white guilt. All right. You got to feel absolutely sorry for black people. You got to feel bad about the uh, KKK members that you used to hang out with. Uh, Strum Thurman. All right, you you you, uh, you you have to feel bad about hanging out with Robert Berg. You have to feel bad about this. This way, we can control you. All right, all the black liberals can absolutely control you because you felt so bad about your past. That's what this is. Okay, they can control Joe. That's all this is, bro. And these women, they're just running uh, running cover. That's all. Because it's, they've made it so, they've lowered the bar so that if Joe Biden shows up and doesn't keel over on his way to the podium, he's had a good night. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, I, you know, and, I, and I also think that it's part of the reason that you now see Trump saying, oh, he's on drugs. Yeah. Which, by the way, I can't believe we have to say this, but it's patently false. Everything you just saw in that. Yeah, we can't believe that you actually have to say that either. But they're going to make you say it. All right. I got some really good sources. Allegedly, Joe Biden actually is on medication. He has a whole case full of medication. Okay. So, yeah, he is definitely on some sort of medication, allegedly. All right. Um, so it's not patently false. All right. There's no way in the world that Warren Buffett at 90 years old, 90, is 10 times sharper than Joe Biden has been in the last decade. Okay. No lie. All right. Where's the lie? Joe Biden has been super declining, especially in the past three years. All right. Reckless, reckless spending, reckless in the government. Absolutely tyrannical. OK, so Joe Biden's been he hasn't helped anybody except maybe some people on welfare. OK, or he makes some black people feel a little bit better about the things he's saying. But he ain't helped no black community. He ain't done nothing for nobody. And, and, and I don't want him to help black community. I want him to help all communities. That would be great. If we had a president that actually cared about America. All right. They didn't care about uh, anybody's skin color. Because the people that actually feel like they have to go out and talk to you about your skin color. Those are the people that you need to actually watch. Those are the people who you need to keep your eye on. Those that feel like they need to come and tell you about your skin color. How dark you are and, and, and how the world doesn't like you. Like you did at Morehouse. Those are the people you need to keep your eyes on, bro.
That video, there is no evidence for it. It is absolutely false. He's making it up. I think Joe Biden needs to get under his skin. I yeah. think he needs to mock him, get under his skin. He needs to uh, cure Trump. So she's saying he should do the exact thing that they always uh, make fun of Trump for doing. He should attack him, basically. Get under his skin. Mock him. Okay. I don't think Trump's going to play that game this time. Because he knows how butt hurt everybody will become uh, from him speaking his mind and telling the truth. All he needs to do is ask questions. What do you think about the borders, Joe? What's going on? Why do we have uh, all these uh, crimes happening because of the borders been open? What do you think about the fentanyl coming in, Joe? How about inflation, Joe? Uh, people are saying that they can't afford bread and eggs. What do you, about, what, what do you think about that, Joe? All you got to do is ask his questions and, and let Joe answer the questions. That's all. Anna Navarro, you know, she's a she's a toolbox. So amnesia that this country has and remind us of the horror of the four years he needs to tout and take credit for all the things his administration has done but also be forward looking he doesn't need to mock him though i think it's so easy to yeah what are those things that joe biden has actually done uh because i'll wait for him to talk about that i don't think we're gonna hear anything that joe biden has actually done except destroy the nation and that's gonna be coming from donald trump okay that's where that's gonna be coming from uh, that's enough of this, guys. I don't, I don't really want to hear anything else these women have to say. Uh, you know, <clears throat> we know what the deal is. Uh, yeah, Trump should, Trump should just keep it cool. He should just keep it cool and ask some questions. Ask Joe Biden. Put him in a position where he has to answer for what he's done. Because the American people, oh, we feel it. Oh, a lot of, I see a lot of people with purple hair. I'm talking on the streets. You know, the purple people. Oh, yeah, they're mad. They're mad about, uh, comes to find out that there's, some of those are business owners. Uh, you can't piss off your base by, uh, uh, you know, raising in inflation. That's, that's really, really, really bad. The economy's stupid. Hey, this has been Yup, I said it, guys. The view are the blind. They really are. Don't, don't follow them. Don't follow them because uh, you're going to be walking in the dark. Follow the light, okay? Let's follow the light. Let's do the right things by God. Guys, have a happy Sabbath day. I love you. And until next time, like, share, and subscribe. Amen.